Hey everybody, how you doing? Looks like we made it to yet another Wednesday. I hope you're all doing okay. We just made it under the gun. Actually, I just made it under the gun because I just went ahead and projected this and we're going to do the drawing. I hope you guys are having a great, uh, great week. I am going to see if you guys are here because I do not see anybody in the chat room so let's see oh there we go willie how's it going good to see you my friend how you doing so a little bit uh you know a little bit slow here today getting started but nonetheless we're gonna get going and it'll be pretty cool so let's see so right now we have willie that's good how was your week willie good i hope you had a, a very good uh restful week weekend and all of that stuff now what i want to do is maybe change the iso and bring it down a bit like that and then maybe just try and reduce some of that glare hey what's up emil how's it going so guys how's the sound wendy how are you good to see you uh, i'm gonna do a little adjustments here now I put the fan on, with that fan, are you hearing kind of a weird noise or anything like that? Let me know. Okay, so let me go ahead and get the photo that I'm working from. Oh great, so sound is good, picture is so-so, so that's good to hear. Hey Brad, good to see you. So a package is going out to you, Brad. So you do hear the fan, should I just look? I, I'll sweat for you guys. That's how much I think you guys are amazing. I'll even sweat for you. That's unbelievable. Just one. <laughs> so let me go ahead and change the layout here. So you see more of her and less of my table. So I think that's a good thing. So let's see if I go this way like that. Okay. And then bring her down like this. And then... I can just lift this up, move this over and down, and then move this side. We can move this over just a little bit like that. I think that's not too bad. Ah, uh, Willie's been sick. Oh man. So, uh, so please be careful. Take it easy. I hope you feel much better. Uh, so. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the reference we're working from. So let's go here, media, videos, images, that's where we want to be. And I'm going to go to this PC, pictures, where is she? Okay, so this is the young lady that we're painting today. Not too bad, so um, uh, where can we put her? Uh, we'll put her right over here so you can see. So that's the image we're working from. Uh, so that's pretty good. And remember always what I say, how important drawing is. So let's not go too far ahead of ourselves without fixing the drawing because that would be detrimental to the, the last day we're working, the very last hour. If the first hour is not done you know, with uh, attention, we're gonna have real problems. So let's go ahead and uh, make this happen. Let's move this around here, watch this. I'm gonna move this here, move this, move you guys over there like that. Move this over like this, move her over here. And I think that's pretty cool. So, okay, so we'll do it like that. And let's see how the picture is and get rid of some of that glare. Okay, so now for me to get my reference out, that's what's important. Remember, you always want to go ahead and get pure ref. Pure ref is the best thing since sliced bread. Sliced bread's pretty cool. I don't know. I think I would be okay without sliced bread. I can slice it myself, but anyway i digress so let me go ahead and pull this picture into my pure ref so we can uh 
get to where we need to be. So let's see, Pure Ref, where is she? Where is that young lady? There she is. Okay. Now, back to where we need to be. Yeah, so I really hope you're feeling better, my friend. So sorry to hear that you're under the weather. I've been juicing like crazy, guys. A lot of vegetable juice. How about you guys? You guys been vegetable juicing or anything like that? What are some of the techniques that you use to uh, feel better? So right now what I'm going to do, so this is projected as you can see, right? It is projected, but that means absolutely nothing. We're going to uh, definitely uh, really not pay so much attention to the projection and more attention to our eyes. Our eyes are much more... Uh... <laughs> oh my God. No, hopefully not. No, I don't think it's too bad where Willie is. If he was by me, then he would definitely have to worry. That's for sure. Oh, so you've been on the herbal program, Brad. That's very good. Yes. So I've been, uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, vegetable juicing. Kale, of course. Kale actually increases your immune system sometimes by 50%. So that's uh, why I'm juicing kale rather heavily. Um, also, uh, celery and all that other stuff, which is really quite crucial for me and has, you know, uh, dandelions are very good, very high. Yes, if you don't feel better tomorrow, definitely call the doctor. Keep us posted, you know, my friend. We want you in 100%, you know, health, you know, so... That always makes me feel kind of bummed when my friends aren't doing good and really catching it. Oh, yeah, because you drive a school bus full of kids. So I could imagine that would really uh, be somewhere where it's like a Petri dish of, of bacteria, you know. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just going to continue. Hey, John, good to see you, man. How's it going? So glad you can make it. Now I'm going to put the fan on. If I put the fan on, you guys hear it really loudly. If you do, I will not use it. I'm just going to see if that's causing any kind of issues. Because last week it was pretty loud. And I hated it. And I hated the live stream because of it. Well, that particular episode. Okay, great. So it's not like a humming noise, like you're in a uh, some sort of <laughs> boiler room or something like that. Oh, thanks, John. I appreciate that. Okay. Because last week was pretty bad with the noise. So I am just continuing to move around, guys. That's what's really important. And... Just making sure that these shapes are acceptable to me and just because I went and projected them doesn't mean uh, no crickets in the ears that would be terrible Wendy so Wendy how are you feeling today how's everything and I'm just going to work on now it's funny I one of the reasons why I, I have this image is because there's a lot of lost and found uh, shapes. And one of the things I really try and tell my students is to always, always work on the, the shapes, the values, and the edges. Remember that, shapes, values, edges. Those are three things that are really going to bring your work to a really good state, you know? So while you're doing that, what I what I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the big screen here so I can make sure that I'm seeing what you're seeing and I'm happy with it, you know. You know, there were some live streams, Wendy, when I was hearing crickets. <laughs> so let me make sure that this is on mute. Now I'm gonna to go to YouTube over here. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got to show you the uh, modification I have of the uh, 
the 105 arrow so have you guys seen this the 105 arrow so I went ahead and I changed the uh, changed it to the uh, detail nozzle and needle head to 41-0044 I believe it is and then I put in the needle the cone and the air regulator and changed that out and made this uh, 105 arrow into a very detailed brush so that's something to look into guys uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, work on that together and uh, we'll just I'll show you how cool that airbrush really is it's just a modification of the 105 but I think the modification makes it a much better detailed brush so I think you guys would be interested in that. Okay, so I'm going to my videos, and there it is. Okay, so I'm going to look and see. Uh, okay, it looks pretty good. So, pretty happy with the way the live stream. Hey, you know, this is so cool. Emil went to Coast Airbrush today, and tell me what happened. And, uh... Oh, and uh, Willie says, Tim, I should have a job at Badger. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, you know, uh, I love Badger, and uh, they're very good to me. And, you know, so uh, it's like almost having a job with those guys. Uh, Ken, Ken is really fantastic. I have such a great friendship with him. And uh, so it's almost like I'm, I'm working with Badger, but not officially. <laughs> Oh, Brad, you have tinnitus. I'm sorry to hear that. They didn't carry the 41044. What a surprise. But I know they have everything with Iwata because those cats are so pro-Iwata. It's ridiculous. I mean, um, you know, if you ever hear that live at five thing, he's always talking about, uh, you know, Iwata, Iwata because, you know, basically the same company almost. The 41044 is the uh, the needle, the cone, and the air regulator replacement for the Extreme Patriot Arrow. And what I do is I take that and I put it in here with this airbrush, and it makes the 105 Arrow, which is only like $88, and it just soups up the airbrush to like do this incredible de detail, you know? And that I love. <laughs> so I'm really I'm looking at the uh, so let me show you here so look at we'll go here to this so hey guys how you doing uh, right there is uh, my TV so and then I do I show that to you guys okay and we'll go back to that Yeah, it probably would be $200. Uh, they did have the needle without the nozzle. So you did get the, uh, did you get the uh, the black needle with that the, the, at the end, uh, Emil? Yo, Tone, how's it going, my friend? Good to see you. So glad you can make it. All right, Tone's in the house. Very, very cool. Always great to have Tone here. And we are just, so right now, Tone, you know, as always, when we get to this, the first week, we're just working on the large shapes of the drawing. Oh, good. You know, I would actually get it from usaairbrushsupply.com. I think it's like $9, and you can use my code, Timothy PSA. Get 10% off. That's not too bad. And you'll get it pretty quickly. Uh, it's not part of that happy birthday thing, so you will get that. I would say within within a week easy Gloria Gloria good to see you how's it going so Gloria is here how cool is that so I'm excited it's always great to see Gloria Gloria is one of our regulars and uh, it's just not a live stream without Gloria am I right guys or what that's the total truth right there yes so usaairbrushsupply.com uh, timothypsa get 10% off look at it as free shipping 
So that's not too bad. And, uh, you know, you'd be supporting those guys over at Badger. And, and so that's cool, you know. So, you know, if you can do that. So it really is good. You'll get the whole thing, you know. Uh, you'll you'll get the needle, the uh, the little cone, and you also get the air regulator. So you'll be all set to go ahead and modify, uh, you know, your one your Patriot. Now this modification works for the 105 Arrow and the 105. See, this is different than the Extreme Patriot Arrow, so it's a different airbrush. But I like, and plus, you'll see, I went ahead and I went and did the, uh, put the Iwata Mac valve. Because the Iwata Mac valve is the best Mac valve out there right now. So I'll tell you if it's the best, I'll tell you to get it, you know. So definitely, if you're going to get a Mac valve, get the Iwata. Steve, good to see you. How are you, my friend? How's everything going? So let's continue moving around here. And you see I have this, which is the, the mono zero. Now one of the things that I really think is uh, good with week one is that we spend it not jumping into the airbrush. Uh, Sexy always looks scary. So what's looking scary? The uh, picture of the young lady? Well, it always does. You know, everything. Uh, I, you know, life is abstract, isn't it? That's for sure. Yes, the 41044 is the standard uh, detail uh, for the Extreme Patriot. Now, my hacks are different, but that's the standard for the Extreme Patriot Arrow, correct. It's not supposed to go with the 105, but I make it fit, <laughs> you know? So, uh, that's what's really good. It is lately, you are so true. We're living in a very bizarre time where just a couple of weeks ago, life was so different and... Uh, so somebody wanted to give me a job interview uh, over the internet because they were afraid uh, of doing the interview because of the coronavirus. And they're closing all the schools here and just a lot of things that are happening. So let me hear about you guys. Are you guys afraid of this whole thing with the coronavirus? How do you feel? Do you feel that this is uh, blown out of proportion? Or is it something that, uh, you know, is even scarier than you think? So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Oh, yeah, REM. <laughs> now, are you, are you quoting REM, Steve, or are you actually thinking that it's uh, worse than it is? Something tells me you're quoting REM. Yes, that's so true. 972, and that's before my discount. Isn't that great? So that's fantastic. So definitely use that code, get that extra 10% off. And buy some other stuff while you're at it, you know, so if you need it. Oh, there you go. Now I know. Now I know you're an REM fan. Ah, that's, uh, that was a college band when I was in college. Well, maybe they were done with, yeah, maybe just before I went to college. Buy low, sell high. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, it's scary, right, Tone? So uh, it's something that we, uh, we don't know just everything just yet. And... Um, you know, I just want everyone to be safe and, you know, it sounds ridiculous, but wash hands, wear gloves, uh, don't stop your life, but uh, just make sure that we exercise really good hygiene. And I think uh, hand hygiene, but I think also this is something we should have been doing 
forever because if it stops just one flu or one cold, then it really is worth doing, you know? Uh, you know, right now it's like, you know, we are such on high alert. I know the media doesn't help things, right? But it's still just totally scary. So as you can see, we are just making things. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, Timothy PSA gives you 10% off of everything. So if you get, you know, maybe another needle, you want to get uh, um, the, the uh, medium or large uh, needle nozzle combination, uh, you can go ahead and get that. Uh, you know, different things that you need. So definitely do that. So I'm so glad that, uh, uh, that you're going ahead and uh, getting some of those accessories. Now, uh, Emil told me he just received, if I'm not mistaken, the 105, the regular 105 with the big cup at the end, which is really cool. Now, remember when you're drawing, you always want to make sure that your angles are correct. So I'm looking at my angle and, you know, this is sort of up and down uh, in, the, in my drawing, but it really isn't in the reference, so it's sort of at an angle. So remember that you want to look at things like a clock, right? So let's say you are drawing and you want to know an angle, and I want you to always reference the angle of the nose like uh, a clock, right? So let's say you have 12, 1, 2, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So let's say we're looking at her nose as it comes up right here. What's, what is this angle over here? So I would look and I would say, I would say that's seven o'clock. So I would double check and say, no, it's between seven and eight. And that's how I pretty much gauge uh, what the uh, angles are. 826 after the code, very cool. So right there is already saving you a few, a uh, little bit of money, so that's good. And so I'm just glad, I'm glad that Ken gave me that to save you guys money. I get a little tiny bit and that's nice, so uh, everyone wins. It's a win-win, that's how we look at it. Uh, so let's continue moving around. I notice, guys, uh, when I am working uh, before I start the airbrush that I'm in no rush to go in with the airbrush whatsoever. No rush at all. And that's the way you want to be. So I'm looking here and this little tiny little shadow right here, uh, which is created by her Cupid's bow, we just want to make sure that we get that. Now, I'm putting some lines here, but these are very soft, soft. Uh, now, lately when I've been working, I have been intentionally looking for images that have very weak uh, uh, edges to them and also images that most people won't paint because they're not as clear. But my contention is, is if you are working with them and you are, you know, paying attention to the edges, regardless, you'll still have a very good image. Do I recommend this for artists who are starting out? No, definitely not. But go ahead and, uh, you know, re Hey Jeff, good to see you. It is a very nice image for airbrush. There are nicer ones out there, but you know, I'm at the point where I just want to challenge and you know, a lot of uh, soft edges and stuff like that and some lost, lost edges and lost detail and found detail is what I've been looking for lately. And here her lips are so beautiful, and we're just going to... So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna listen to the sound and see if that 
You know what? That fan is just. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna. That fan is just, guys, unacceptable. So I'm turning this. It sounds like I'm, uh, you know, I'm um, doing a live stream from the airport. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna. That fan is just, guys, unacceptable. So I'm turning this. It sounds like I'm, uh, you know. Uh, okay. So now, now everything sounds much better, right? So I'm gonna just do a little bit of a sweat. Hey, I went to the gym today. I could sweat a little bit. That's all right. Yeah, you know, Wednesday seem to get away from me sometimes. Now I'm gonna look at her eye and the size of her eye. Just because you project means nothing. You have to be so vigilant so vigilant to get this correct you know where does that eye a mask I look like Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat <laughs> <laughs> well India inks is one of the healthiest things that you can spray uh, in your airbrush, which is very good news. I'll be like, Luke, I am your father, you know, or something like that. And so that would be interesting. So here we have just a little bit of dark here. Oh, at the gym. Well, I, the gym has really been, uh, lightening up i mean literally hardly anyone goes there anymore and when people are there here in new jersey in my town of little ferry the one person who died in new jersey lived close to me uh he passed away so that was really quite scary and jeff says uh Seams are drawing the usual to maybe more complicated image. This is pretty complicated though, Jeff, in the sense uh, that there's a lot going on. It's not totally well lit. And, you know, when things are unusually lit like this, then uh, you want to, um, you really have to uh, concentrate on your powers of observation, you know? Uh, Jeff, so yeah, I, I think it's a little bit more complicated and it's not pretty much a safe picture, you know, where all your edges are really nice and, you know, your mid-tones and your reflected lights are really nicely delineated. None of that is happening. So, so that's good. So it's good to have something a little bit different. Well, at the gym, uh, you know, here in the Northeast, in New York City, because I'm only five miles from New York City and uh, New Jersey, Bergen County is the worst county here in New Jersey with this virus. So a lot of people are really weary and rightfully so. It's pretty scary. Uh, the mask, uh, if you only have that one mask, but you know what? We shouldn't be using those masks because uh, they're really, we're told that they're for the healthcare workers. Uh, you know, that's something that, uh, but I don't go swimming in the pool anymore at the gym. That's just being wise. Uh, I want to, I love swimming at the pool. It's, it's great for cardio, but I have to stop it because, you know, uh, as far as the gym goes, I'm not anywhere close to six feet to anybody. And I'm wearing latex gloves and all of that. And so all of that uh, is very, very important. Tone, it's in your old neighborhood too. Wow, so that's all very, very scary stuff. Uh, so the mask is really for healthcare workers and people who are already sick, but still, you know, the N95 mask is uh, is really good. But uh, I think the healthcare workers should have that. But definitely, I understand what you mean, and I'm still gonna live my life as much as I can. Uh, I don't want to stop doing that, but I have, uh, Gloria actually gave me these wonderful uh, latex gloves, 
and so I use them when I go to the gym so whenever I touch those surfaces I'm just touching the latex when I'm done I take it off and then that's it uh, Wow Steve says he's actually at the hospital right now all of the masks have been stolen Wow are you at the hospital because you work there uh, Steve I hope I hope you're not under the weather or anything Yeah, so, you know, it's, uh, it is very scary and uh, something that we have to really keep an eye on. Now, I love it here in her mouth because you just see a little bit of her tongue coming uh, forward. And that is going to be very interesting to try. And, oh my God, Steve's having a grandbaby. How fantastic. No way. Now that's great news. Oh my goodness. So your daughter is or daughter-in-law is actually in labor as we speak. That is really fantastic. Passing time. What better way to pass time than hang out at the live stream, right? So this is the best time passer ever. So congratulations. You know what? I got to take the gloves off for this because congratulations. All right. Grandpa Steve. Steve, you're too young to be a grandfather. You must have had your daughter when you were like, what, 14 or something? Because you're too young to be a granddad. That's for sure. And so what? A, that's, that's a great moment. So I'm so happy for you, Steve. I rejoice in your happiness. I want you to know that. And... Uh, you know, this this is definitely a, a an amazing live stream. And then your grandbaby, you can actually tell them to watch this live stream. And we talk about them coming into the world. 57. Wow, you look amazing for 57. So what are you doing? Are you, do you, uh, you hang out with Ponce de Leon or anything like that? Uh, is there a fountain of youth in your, in your basement or something? So really good that you look so great so congrats on that too and okay so here we have this dark over here and this sort of is a cast shadow from her arm and we're just going to pull this up this is really soft when we go in with the airbrush super soft Oh, wired wine. Oh, that's what it is. So, you know, so if you ever want to send some of that wired wine here, because, you know, I'm trying to uh, get that young vibe going, you know, doing my best. It's a conspiracy. I don't think I'm at half the age I am. I don't know why. I just don't feel it. I don't feel it at all. I think it's because, you know, my, my third, my late thirties, my thirties were kind of like a blur guys, you know, up to 33, everything was cool. And then, you know, up until like maybe 37 to blah, blah, blah has been weird. Hey, Alexo, come on by say, how you doing? Good to see you. Wendy says, was going to ask what flavor wired was <laughs> sort of digital wine. That's funny. So we are just looking at relationships here. Just because you project, don't go in. And you know what? I really, how do I say this and not sound uh, bad, but I really hate when we cut out a Xerox copy and spray through it. I'd rather not see that because uh, we're really not putting our handwriting in there. Uh, so, so what what are your feelings out there? Do you feel that it's a, it's good to just take a photograph and then just cut out with exacto knife and spray and then go in and have everything perfect, or do you think uh, you think it's very important to uh, draw it out like I did? I'm doing. Uh, even though you're projecting to save on time, 
drawing it out um, really to me gives it the handwriting when do you spay true a Xerox copy I don't do that no I never do that never will uh, I am against it uh, but time is money yes and I understand uh, if you're running on you know a tight deadline yes but I mean for your own work right Steve you know uh, I think but that's only my opinion it's nothing anything but I want to know what you guys feel Willie man I really help you feel good feel better I'm worried about you and uh, just uh, saying lots of prayers out to you my friend uh, so let's all you know wish Willie a very good week and keep us posted let us know you're feeling better so that's what I'm looking forward to and yes you got to keep your skills up and one of the ways to keep the skills up is to draw as much as possible so on one of the uh, on the digital I, I had you know my digital painting I just do completely freehand and uh, that's been a lot of fun because the digital painting is pretty much like a you know a relax so I just uh, draw it out totally freehand and that's really helping my skills keeping your skills well keeping our skills tight right yeah Steve says he loves uh, drawing and creating I'm right there with you my friend and uh, just that handwriting you know I don't want to lose that handwriting so you see even though I'm projected it I projected it I'm still making sure that I am uh, getting in there and uh, paying attention and just getting my handwriting in there see you next week my friend so Wendy is watching procreate and Wendy and Bradley are doing procreate and that is with the iPad and I do want an iPad one day with that Apple pen and uh, because I want to be able to paint everywhere Critic kind of limits me to uh, working you know either on my laptop or or on my desktop here so but Critic seems like it would open up uh, for automotive or anything else, really, I see nothing wrong with it depending on time. Yes, time constraints, I understand. Each artist is still going to be different. On Skillshare, I found a girl that teaches it where it makes sense. Uh, Pro Emil says Procreate is great. Emil does some really great digital art. I mean, I really love his digital painting. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen mine. Let me see if I could pull up what I'm working on in uh, in Krita let's see okay oh there we are and so if I go to this PC documents uh, pictures so I'm just going to quickly look and see if I can find that one image it's not there downloads okay I'm gonna pull it up in Critter and show you what I've been working on and let's go over here where is it is it Critter Yes, so that should come up. Let me go to Krita. So Krita's coming up, and I'm going to show you what I've been working on. So this is uh, completely freehand, uh, which is really great. It's actually totally freehand on... Uh, on Krita and I'm really enjoying it and uh, so I didn't use any kind of uh, projecting or going over anything you know going over the picture so here is the picture that I'm working on and then this is this is the picture I'm reference and this is what I'm working on so yeah working on digital can really make your life a lot easier it really can so anyway
back to our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. I appreciate that. Oh, right. Can't, so you're tired, Wendy. Yes. And it's hard watching those videos. Thanks, Emil. Now, I'm doing a video where you only really have to learn maybe six or seven keyword, key, keyboard shortcuts to do that. I'm painting it pretty much exactly the way I paint, uh, you know, in real life. So it's pretty exciting because I, I think a lot of the, uh, a lot of the background, thank you, Brad. I think a lot of what's going on in digital is a lot of egghead stuff, you know, a lot of stuff where they are making it more difficult than it is. And what I'm trying to do is just hack into the program and make it so anyone can just go ahead and start doing this. That's my goal, guys. Same thing with the airbrush, you know. I'm a hacker. I'm an ex-computer hacker. So if you think about that, that's exactly what I, I'm doing with the airbrush, and that's what I want to start doing with the um, with digital art. I just want to hack into it so I can show you guys and and uh, and ladies just how easy it is. Uh, how many hours? I would say about four hours. About four hours into it, and that's completely freehand. You know, I did not do uh, you know others I have, but that one was completely freehand. But what I really love about digital is that you can adjust. You can change to make the eye bigger, make it smaller. You don't have to worry about erasing. Uh, so that's one of the great things about digital art. But just makes it makes your regular art better, and that's one of the one of the aspects I really want to really push home. So go ahead and dust off those programs if you have it, and go do some digital art. You know. Thanks, Emil. I appreciate it. D digital art is not the enemy. Digital art is actually the friend of the traditional artist. And I was in the camp that it was the enemy at one time. But now, everyone who is a serious uh, traditional painter needs to work a lot in digital art. Now, Bradley, is uh, he has an Apple uh, iPad and a pencil, and he's working with Procreate, which is pretty cool, and I love to see that. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing some digital uh, live streams. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, so that's one of the things that I think is going to help grow the channel. Yes, no supplies to keep up, exactly. So Emil says he thinks I love the iPad Pro and the iPad. I will, you know. And I'm so excited about it because I just, I'm always out, you know? And let's say if I'm waiting for somebody at a doctor's office, take that out and just go to town, right? Wendy has to wake them, but if she updates her Apple iPad, it may not be able to use it. Or her Apple I, iPad Pro, no, her MacBook, I think that is, right, Wendy? You were mentioning it earlier? Now, what we're doing here is we are just working on her sternocleidomastoid coming in here. And then we have the shadow right there. You know, I really want to stress her MacBook, yes. Procreate looks easier than Krita. Actually, when I get done showing you guys, you guys are going to be like, Krita is a godsend. They just updated to 4.2.8 or 4.2.9, which they have some really great updates with that. But with my hacks, I'm going to make it so easy that, you know, you can pretty much go right into it. Like I said, it's a lot of egghead stuff, you know, a lot of stuff making it a lot more difficult than it is. Tone says it comes in handy, Wendy, especially on curved surfaces. Very true. That's very true. Uh, so yes, you definitely have to update your Krita. It has some really great updates. Uh, the color picker tool, which is really fantastic. Uh, also, how you uh, change the size 
of the pen, which is uh, holding the shift and then just moving the pen to the left or right makes it bigger and smaller. How great that is when you're working on a fly, you know, on the on the fly, not on a fly. That's really small, you know. I don't think I could work on a fly. <laughs> so here is a, a case in point where we look at the angle. So I'm looking at her teeth. This one comes here. This tooth comes over here. But then I see I, I got the angles wrong. You know, you can be doing this a hundred years, and if you get those angles wrong, bam. You know, it's like dominoes. Everything's gonna fall into place. Everything's gonna fall out of place. There we go, see him. Really gotta push, because I wanna, for some reason, I wanna continue her teeth to be going straight across, but they really don't. And going back to that whole thing with with the clock, you know, and the time, I can really see that I just want to, I want what I want to see, and that's so bad. I want to see what I want to see. The subconscious really does insist on things looking a certain way. Oh, I don't know why we fight that, right? We always do. So you guys have a, a certain issue. I'm pretty, I have a rough time with uh, eyelashes. Uh, what are some of the things that when you do portraits, what do you have uh, trouble with? And what are some of the things that you do to combat that? Combat that? I always go from the left and to the right, go back and forth, not just one direction. Uh, so Wendy has 4.2 point, 4.1.5, that's a very old install, yes, so you just got to do that. And it's great because it updates it automatically, so that's good. Tone says, yes, you just cut the main lines that you need, spray through lightly and freehand from there. Yeah, so that's, that's fine, you know, as long as it's not a crutch, right? As long as I, you know, I don't see people having this shredded sort of Xerox copy where it's just a total mess and stuff like that. Uh, eyelashes, just to make a U. Uh, <laughs> now, what does that mean, just to make a U in the eyelashes? I'm just a little confused on that one. Okay, so that's the teeth for now. And I'm going to come back to that. But, but, just want to make sure that I don't take this for granted, that this is a, a spot that's going to need, oh, just a U-shape. A U-shape for the eyelashes? Oh, so Emil says he has trouble being impatient. That's true. Me too. That's a hard thing. Now you make a U shape. Uh, eyelashes just make a U shape. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, I got to look into that. Now the main thing with those things is always make sure that the most important thing we do is to look is observation. Trust our eyes, but really pay attention. One second rule is the best rule ever. See, and also angles, right? So if I look at the reference, the angle of the space between the teeth is a little more slanted like that. And then this comes out. And then comes in rather drastically. There's not a complete line in between, just a little bit. Yes, you, you really want to pay attention here. You don't want to go too far too fast and make overlapping U-shapes. 
That's interesting. That's an interesting thing. Now, as long as you're uh, looking at the reference and making those U shapes according to what you see, that sounds really fascinating. Now, one of the things we have to really watch out for is to do things uh, is to do things uh, too much to a pattern or sort of a trick or something like that. Observation is really the key to not only uh, paint it uh, accurately, but also to say something on a gut human level. Some people make puzzle pieces for each part. I'm not doing that much. I'm glad because I, I really hate when they do the puzzle pieces. That, I hate it. I hate it so much. And uh, because, um, like I said, you want that sort of gut human level experience that you want to share with somebody else, you know. It works out. I don't know what else to say. As long, Wendy, it sounds great as long as we're paying attention to the reference. That's all. And you, you do great work, so I know you do both. So I'm sure, I'm sure you do that. I have faith in you, Wendy. You know that. You know I have faith in you. Wendy's a very good artist. She does some really beautiful stuff. And she does watercolor and acrylic and pastel. She's like a Renaissance woman, right? Am I, am I correct? Is that how I could say it, Wendy? You're a Renaissance woman? Uh, like Artemisia Gentileschi. So who knows about Artemisia Gentileschi? You guys know about her? Just a pop quiz, you know. Sorry I didn't give you a chance to study. <laughs> Wendy does all sorts of things. This is so true. This amazing lady over there. And we have Gloria. Gloria does some amazing things. Oh my God, she is so talented. Uh, you should, you know, she just like the most amazing chef ever. I know I say it over and over again, but uh, she can make, um, just, she can open up a restaurant and it would just blow up, you know? Not literally, just get very good. <laughs> a lot of clientele. <laughs> so right here it is sort of a dark uh, negative space. And I just wanna just indicate that So you see, I'm just moving around. And so let's go on to this arm right over here. Now there's a little sliver of an ear over here, but I'm gonna wait till this develops a little bit with the airbrush to find that ear. So uh, I don't think there's gonna be much freehand shielding going on around here this episode because of how soft these edges are. So, you know, you don't need the freehand shield. Gloria, you are amazing. I'll tell you, you got to try. Uh, Gloria makes the most amazing black beans with white rice, pumpkin. Listen to that, guys. Pumpkin and chicken, right? So that's amazing. And DJ made chicken with beer up the butt. Remember the beer was up the butt? <laughs> That was a lot of fun. Do you guys ever make beer chicken? That's really, really amazing. So you, you take the whole chicken and that it's like, and then there's a beer inside and it actually cooks in there. It's really pretty cool. So that was an amazing meal. So just unbelievable. That was unbelievable. It was amazing. And it looked amazing. I'm like, that's a beer up that chicken's butt, you know? And I was like, wow. I think we just uh, lost our PG rating of this particular live stream. <laughs> well, it could be offensive to chicken. So, you know. <laughs> For chickens, yes, I agree, Gloria. You know, that's so funny. You guys are hilarious. 
So you see how I'm just looking at this like beautiful line here. You know, it's like almost like poetry, you know, the way that this bicep sort of curves right up to here and then is picked up by her tendons and then pulled up by her forearm muscles and just, I mean, that's poetic, you know, and I would hate to spray through that and lose that experience of the poetry of the line. I know that might sound trite, but it really isn't. In doing it, it is, uh, really is poetic. Same thing with, let's say, over here, this line right here. It's, it really is uh, a thing of beauty. And uh, so if we pull this up here and then look, look for that little triangle right here, we can see that it's much more than just, you know, trying to get this arm. It's much more than that. And if we do realize that, that we are doing something, just trying to find the, the beauty in vision. Someone asked me in a live stream uh, in the comments not too long ago, and they said, well, you know, it looks just like a photograph. Why just not just, you know, take a photograph and leave it at that? It's because it's the beauty of seeing and experiencing it and why you picked that image in the first place and sharing that and you ever look at a sunset guys or a sunrise and you just look and you just have to stop and sit down and just try and and get that in you know and try and uh absorb it that's why you know a realistic painter paints you know yeah you can take a photograph but when we go ahead and really look and just uh just absorb it and just paint all the different values and the lights. It's like looking at that beautiful sunset and, and really just savoring it like a really good glass of wine. And Steve knows about good glasses of wine because that's how he keeps young. <laughs> I like wine. I don't get to drink it that often, uh, you know, but... I do love wine. I don't get to drink it too often. Brad says that the art looks better than a photograph. The subject jumps out at you if you're if you've done the job right. Correct, because of that. And I agree, Brad. It's that human element that people just like. Wow, you know, someone drew that. Someone painted that. So yeah, it is much more beautiful than the original photograph. Uh, do I think photo photography is art? Absolutely. I mean, their art inspires my art. And uh, so, yes, I think that photographers are artists in a different way. They see things differently, and, uh, and that's beautiful. And it gives them a chance to, you know, behold their vision and everything. So, yeah, it's good to uh, be a realistic artist. And, you know, how realistic you want to go, how how photo realistic you want to go or you know that's up hyper realistic that's totally up to the artist and there's no right answer so you know to those pundits i would just say do you look at a sunrise and just keep going or you just stop in your tracks right and so you see we're getting pretty far with the drawing i'm pretty happy with the uh how far we've come. So right here we see we have her elbow. This is all very soft edges here. So I just gotta make sure I don't make this a hard edge because that would look really weird. There's a lot of meandering uh, of the dark going into here. Just gotta make sure we put that in. So we will be working with the white, with the white mixture. So that's important. 
and I will be working with, as far as the white mixture, I probably will continue with that other airbrush that I use. I believe it's the 100G. I like using the 100G. OG, old gangster. <laughs> Uh, so what do you think? OG, the Badger OG, that would be like old school. What do you guys think of that as a designation? Would that be funny? So right now it's, it's 1030 already and we've gone to, you know, not very far with the painting. Old gun, I like that. That's so cool. Wendy comes up with some good ones. <laughs> so you see, we are doing pretty well with time. We got a long way to go on this one. Oh my God, Wendy would come up with better ones if you're drinking wine. Would they be rated PG-13, Wendy? <laughs> I'm not sure they would be rated, uh, rated PG-13. We would lose our, our uh, monetization here. Wendy's never been drunk? No way. Really? Never? Ever? Holy Toledo. I can't Irish, so, you know, stereotypes are not. <laughs> no, I've been, I can't say that I've never been drunk. Uh, that would probably be... And the one Irishman who has said he's never been drunk is Tim. No, see, that's... I don't want to be the first guy. Yeah, that's what I said, Tone. Wow. Yeah, you hang out with an Irishman from New York, you might end up <laughs> drunk for the first time. <laughs> uh, St. Patty's Day is coming up, guys. Have you ever had a Long Island iced tea? Oh my God, that will definitely put that thing, that that uh, theory to test, that's for sure. Who out there had a Long Island iced tea? That thing is, uh, uh, Brad was drunk for years. There were a lot of times I wanted to be drunk, that's for sure. Moonshine, I had that stuff in college, wow. That stuff is deadly. You drank eight mar. That's a little light, though. Uh, margaritas are really not. I mean, Long Island iced teas. Uh, you know, what is it? Tequila. You have eight tequilas, and you're going to be doing the Mexican hat dance. Uh, Air Todd Bemis, how you doing, Todd? Good to see you. Tequila. That stuff will knock you on your butt. Uh, really good vodka. You know. I went away to college. Uh, six hurricanes, wow. So that is definitely, I'm glad that you we don't, not even a buzz, wow. That's something. So that's a good thing, uh, definitely. I'm not a big drinker at all. I just I went away to college, so that's where I learned about drinking. But tequila is... Uh, um, straight tequila shots. That's what I remember in college. And uh, oof, I'll tell you, that was rough. And uh, yeah, tequila is not for the lightweights. That's for sure. And so let's see. No, why try is exactly. It does no good. It doesn't help us. It doesn't make us better artists. It doesn't make us better people. So yeah, I'm not 
not big on alcohol. That's why I don't really drink. I'm not preaching anything. Just for me, I'd rather, I'd rather be my own lovable, happy, annoying self. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so we're doing pretty good here, and uh, yes, definitely. So Brad says he drank enough for a lifetime many years ago. Haven't had a drink in over 31 years. Wow, that's pretty good. And Brad, you're like you're like 39 years old, right? So you <laughs> you must have stopped drinking when you were eight, because you look so young. That's what it is. So Brad stopped drinking 31 years and he was eight years old when he stopped drinking. So that's good. <laughs> so I stopped counting really at 39. Uh, I don't count anymore. Uh, so and that's my story and I'm holding to it. And uh, I don't need numbers after 39. It's superfluous. Oh, yeah, I could imagine pain meds not working. That's terrible. Oh, well, I don't like to hear that. And let's see. Okay. So I think we are ready for the light mixture. And, uh, oh, well, let's, let's work on her clavicle area here. Just very quickly. Nothing too crazy. Just very quickly. Now, Tone says every now and then he has to remind himself why he stopped drinking. Yes, definitely. That is very important, you know, especially this day and age, right? You know, why am I not drinking? Yes, and that you do have to ask yourself that. And then we find out, then we, we remind ourselves, yes. Sometimes dealing with reality head on is not exactly the most fun, you know, and it's hard. It really is, uh, you know, and I think I applaud everyone who, you know, deals with it head on. And uh, so, you know, I know it's not easy. It isn't on a serious note. It just is not easy. So I definitely applaud you guys. And so here's interesting, right? So I'm looking at her nostril here. It goes up, goes down, like that shape. But interesting enough, you see how it's sort of, if I'm looking at the reference, I would say the point, see, it is going down a little further than what I had in the projection. I'm telling you, I don't trust the projection. I trust my eye. Trust my eye when doing the one second rule, right guys? Reality can only dawn on an unclouded, unclouded mind. Will I be using Frisket? I don't think so, Wendy. Uh, just because, you know, I might when I go in with the, with the background. I think I might on this arm. So looking at this image, I'm gonna use Frisket very sparingly. Uh, I'm gonna use it right here on this arm and maybe over here uh, and then just here and there on the teeth perhaps, but very sparingly, you know? Yeah, that's true, you know, it's, it's not easy, it's... Uh, Definitely, um, and I don't judge anybody for how they decide to live their life and uh, no judgment. And that to me is the most important thing is not to, not to judge anybody, you know, just to, as long as they're not hurting anybody, you know, I think it's okay. Uh, if they're hurting themselves, that's up to them. I can't do anything about that. Oh, 
Okay, so I might be sorry I didn't go further with the drawing, but I think this is pretty much as far as I'm gonna go with the drawing. But what do you guys think? You think the drawing aspect is pretty good? Let me zoom out a little bit. Oh, so Steve says, yes, on the subject of realism, I do a lot of pet portrait commission. This is Steve talking. On the subject of realism, he does a lot of pet, report, pet portrait commissions. And often his work is com commented on that it looks like a photograph. Well, it's my job to make it look like a photograph then make it look better than a photograph. That's true. You got to fix some of the issues uh, in the photograph. So you're expected to do that. So yes, I agree to make it better. Good point, Steve. Very good point. Thank you, Gloria. So, uh, so this is where we are in the drawing of this lovely lady here. So now we're going to come in with the white mixture. So this is the 105, which I have mixed with the, I have this with the light uh, mixture in my Airbrush India inks, which are available if you go to paintingtips.com. Now, where is that airbrush that we spoke of? I'm a little bit further away. I didn't go. Uh, let's see. I'm just thinking which airbrush. Okay. Here's the 100 G, I have to find it. Where in the world did I put it? Okay, here we go. Here's the 100 OG. So that's what we're gonna use. Uh, the Patriot 105. I love the Patriot 105. Um, what about the Patriot 105, uh, Wendy? This is the 105 Arrow, and this is the 100 G, which I'm gonna use this one. <coughs> <laughs> Gloria says she can hear me upstairs. That's funny. So Gloria is my downstairs neighbor. So she can hear me in the studio. Isn't that pretty cool? So it's like we have uh, people in the live stream who are 15 feet away and 3,000 feet, 3,000 miles away. So cool. Uh, so Wendy says confusing. The two airbrushes I have a 105. You have the Patriot the Extreme Patriot uh, 105. That's the one with the big cup. And uh, so that's the one that you have, correct. It's different. The arrow has a smaller cup. 15 years we've been neighbors. Oh my God, that's amazing. Really? Has it been 15? Oh man. So that means I started living here when I was like uh, 15 years old, right? Because <laughs> I'm so young. Why two models with the 105? Well, there are differences. Um, you know, there, you know, some people need a larger cup, some need a smaller cup. Now, the extreme is different because it does have the uh, the precision control valve, which is really good. Uh, teen right away. <laughs> yeah. So this is cool. So now I have the light mixture out, as you can see. And let me just make sure that we, yeah, you know, I was, uh, you know, very young when I left home, you know, since I'm only 39 now. Now, I always like to test off, you know, for the first time. So we'll just turn it over. And we're getting a nice spray. Oh, it's like different bra sizes. Oh my goodness, yes. That's true. So this would, this would, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> like I'm still trying to, yes, you're, of course you're 39, Wendy. Of course. You know, that goes without saying. I don't know what you would think otherwise. Now, interesting enough, I have this line here. What in the world was that about? See, that's why you don't trust your... Uh, you never trust your, your projection. It's just really there to speed things up. So... 
I'm a good distance away. So let me just show you. So we're, so you see here, what I'm doing detail over here, but now you can see I'm a little further away. Remember, you want to paint in three dimensions. As you're painting, uh, if you want a softer, more gradated edge, you move away. If you want a tighter, more uh, refined line, you go closer. And that's how you, you definitely need a soft edge. So you want to, you want to use that, you know, distance. It's, it's just, it's so paramount. It really is. 29, got to go recharge the phone. Hey, hey, have a great day. Congratulations, Steve. Uh, you know, send me a quick message. Let me know the little one's name and, and sex and everything. So that's fantastic. I'm so happy and take care, my friend. Oh, let's see. Okay, cool. That's so great. So that's wonderful, Steve. So I hope to see you next week with all the news. And I'm just very happy for you and your family. God bless you. Ah, that's cool. So you see right now what I'm doing is just putting in uh, white, the lightest lights, not the highlights because we're not doing highlights at all, but we're doing those lightest lights. Oh no, well you look a lot younger. You look, you look very young, Wendy. So it's better to look good than to feel good. Isn't that what uh, Billy Crystal used to say when he was Fernando? It is better to look good than it is to feel good. And you know who you are. Dolly. Uh, you stop it, Wendy. You look young for 39. That's what I'm saying. For 39, you look young. Okay. <laughs> Brad is still on the brush. <laughs> Oh man, we're losing our PG-13 rating. That's okay, we were bound to go anyway. <laughs> we were bound to lose the PG-13 rating soon enough. Ooh, look at that, am I out? No way, oh, I thought I was out already. I go through these mono erasers like crazy, guys. I don't know if you guys go through them as quickly as I do, but I go through them. So, as you can see in the reference photo, you have those large areas of white. Uh, we're not talking highlights, we're just talking lights, right? Now, I'm not gonna go ahead and erase any of those pencil lines. Uh, go out laughing, that's exactly what I'm talking about, yes. If you're gonna go out at all. But definitely don't go out, don't go out with a whimper, go out fighting, tooth and nail. Wow, 92, that would be, that would be like, I don't even want to see 92. <laughs> I don't think, yeah, no, don't even want to have a concept of that. I don't even want that in my head. And I'm a good distance away. I can even be a little further because it's really not, it's just, very light, light gray, a little bit lighter than the paper that I'm going to be uh, really applying there. No, I'm going to do that later. Uh, the teeth is uh, really sort of uh, a very intricate place. So I'm going to use some frisket and uh, make that decision sort of assess it, right? So assessing the teeth, uh, I'm definitely going to uh, really deliberate over that and figure out what's the best 
because that's such an important part of this composition of her portrait, you know, to her, her beautiful expression, her teeth, the little bit of her tongue just coming out, you know, that is so important. And that's what really drew me to this. So if I just did not go into that, uh, gold leaf, oh no, Wendy, that's for sure. Pastel, no. I don't want to do pastel, maybe on the highlights. Uh, but now what color am I doing on this one? No color whatsoever at all. Uh, no, there's no color in this one, Wendy. Oh, one black one? Yeah, that would definitely ruin the whole mood. <laughs> That's for sure, to have that. So we're definitely not going to do that. But I thank you for your... Uh, uh, the paper color, as always, is Pebble Gray. I went ahead and ordered some more Pebble Gray this week, guys, uh, from Blick. And what's really good, you get a pack of 10 for $22.90 or something like that. Uh, so, no, we're definitely not going for that look, Wendy. <laughs> Maybe in a future painting. So, as you see, we're just very lightly putting in that, that white there. There we go. That's probably more indicative to what we are looking at here. Ooh, let me make this smaller here. I'd like to see the pebble gray next to my light gray. They're very close, like we're talking like minuscule differences. And um, so, yeah, I like to see them next to each other because it really looks negligible. But, uh, and I know uh, one of my students, Ray, uh, he used the light gray and I didn't really know the difference until he told me. If I looked at what I seen on Blick's website, which is not 100% uh, reliable, I would say that the pebble gray is slightly darker and a little bit colder. Uh, so whether that's true or not in person is yet to be determined. Now I'm getting a really nice spray. Uh, you know, I'm sort of in my wheelhouse now and as you can see I'm just at a nice angle and it's good to be at an angle right so if I go to this you'll see that I'm sort of at a 45 degree angle when I'm attacking the uh, surface dagger strokes fading lines, constantly do them, constantly. If you do that for 15 minutes a day, I guarantee your airbrush control is gonna go through the roof. And I mean that. Ray, hi, that's just talking about you. How cool is that? How are you? So Ray, we need to know uh, what your feelings are in the light gray with the 184 pound Canson color line. And uh, have you tried the pebble gray as well? So uh, so let's, let's hear your thoughts, Ray. So I'm so glad you're here. How you been? So, so cool. So, uh, so Wendy's doing better. That's fantastic. So, and she's, she's able to paint again and that's such a blessing. Now, uh, <laughs> Wendy, that was a pretty bad typo. I'm not even going to read what you said. 
so this is great. This is uh, Pearls of Wisdom from Ray from the Cleveland area. Yes, he says, he has tried both and there is no big difference. You just have to adjust your midtones. So would you say that one is warmer than the other one or uh, what would be the big difference, you know, off the top of your head? <laughs> Wendy, I, you just killed my PG-13 rating. I just wanted to let you know. Too funny. Yeah, so Wendy went to say the Dick Blick, the second part, which is very important, website. <laughs> so Ray, you would say that uh, the Pebble Gray is cooler or warmer than the uh, Light Gray. That would be good to know. <laughs> NR17. <laughs> oh my God, Wendy. So as you can see, we are, we're doing pretty well. I'm pretty happy with uh, so far. Uh, the drawing looks a little more rough than usual, but this is a different kind of image, you know. So Ray says it's a little warmer than the light gray. So the pebble gray is a little warmer, so that's good to know. And the light gray is probably a little bit uh, lighter than the pebble gray in your estimation. Warm as in relish. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I do love pickle relish. A good pickle relish is fantastic. I wouldn't say it's very warm. <laughs> Wendy is on a roll today. You crack me up. The live streams wouldn't be the same without you, Wendy. That's for sure. You do make... You and Gloria make these live streams come to life. I don't know. It would be a very boring show without you guys. Come on. I don't think Bob Ross has this much fun, right? Uh, now, Ray says he really doesn't think about it at all. It's just naturally adjust as I go, and it seems to work for him. Uh, he can use either one, and don't worry about the difference. Uh, no, not a crazy, colorful, fun, exciting brain. That's how I look at it. So, not a crazy brain. So, thank you for hanging out with us, Gloria and Wendy. So, really... You know, Bob Ross is dead. Yes, that is true. Uh, uh, so we don't really know how much fun he's having. Well, right? No, I meant like Bob Ross when he was doing the shows. <laughs> yeah, right now, no. Uh, and so, but, you know, like his shows were really good. And, you know, he had a little squirrel. But he didn't have the excitement that these live streams have. That's for sure. And so that's pretty cool. So yeah, Ray does great. And uh, so I want to show you another color that I use. And if you guys can get a hold of it, get a hold of it. Uh, they're hard to get. But I still have some, which I got. This is uh, Canford Cardstock Gunmetal. Now look at the difference in color, guys, and you'll see it's pretty interesting. Um, see the difference in color? It's much darker. But with the gunmetal, you can do some really exciting things. And when you use the white, you can use the white uh, to get a better range of values. So you get much more of a, I don't know, a sculptural type of look, which I think is really neat and really interesting. Uh, gunmetal, yes. Uh, you have gunmetal and you like the lighter version. Oh, I understand. Me too, but... 
A good gunmetal picture, I tell you, is uh, really a lot of fun. And uh, it's just, I do like the look of it and just, you know, how exciting it is. Um, see if I have a gunmetal picture here. Because from the get-go, you know, you're starting darker and that kind of forces us to uh, just go at a different different angle, which is nice, and I like that. Just to uh, you know, not be too complacent doing the same uh, exact technique. You know, I could have done this on gunmetal; would have been good, definitely. But I like the 184 pound because we're going to use some a little bit of uh, frisket here and there. So Ray says he has used that too, and you are correct about the depth that can be achieved. Yes, definitely, Ray. Uh, I get addicted to the gunmetal. Once I start working on it, I don't... Gunmetal never came in 184. I think it comes in 92. Uh, even 92, it's a very thin 92. Let me see if I could see what exactly we have here actually 90 pounds so that's even less than the 92 that you get uh, with the uh, with the color line which is what's that other I think I do have a dark gray with the color line which is interesting uh, you can only get a, a lighter version um, your fingers are definitely have a mind of their own today, Wendy. But it is it has been entertaining, that's for sure. So that's okay. So I'm just going to continue with uh, going in. Uh, yeah, you did get some weird colors, Wendy, which turned out to be interesting. You did that one picture of the little girl, which I found fascinating. That was really good. So... Uh, sometimes an accident really is a good thing. Well, sometimes typos are okay. Spell check has been trying to kill me lately in my life. But, uh, yeah, it's, you know, typing is really bad because once you type it, it's like, oh my God, what did I just type, right? So I go through that. So I just, before I stop with the white, Guys, clean your airbrushes. I can't stress it enough. Make sure they're spotless at all times, inside and out. Because, you know, I see a lot of airbrush artists, and I love all airbrush artists. And I see them with the dirt and the paint and all this stuff over here and on the outside. And I hear that saying, well, as long as it's clean on the inside, no. It's so important to keep this thing. It's a very precision equipment and it really should be, you know, really cleaned well and rather quickly uh, after you finish painting. So definitely, I can't stress it enough. So you see how I am much more uh, confident that my airbrush is going to work. It doesn't work all the time, but I would say 90% of the time I pick it up it's doing what I wanted to do. So that is so important. Uh, you made this in our channel for the evening. That's okay, you know? Hopefully, uh, <laughs> no, that's okay, it's funny. Some funny, funny typos tonight, and I loved it. Of course, it doesn't help that I went ahead and uh, you know, egged it on and, you know, sort of uh, kept it going, so I'm partly to blame with my weird sense of humor. So how are you guys cleaning your airbrush? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, do you... Um, do you clean your airbrushes right away? Do you know what are your feelings on it? Do you feel it's not as important? Love to hear your thoughts. Just because they're my thoughts doesn't mean you guys don't have different different ideas. Doesn't make it less val uh, valid. Just what works for you. But for me, you know, 
All right, good to see you, my friend. I hope you have a great night and looking forward to some of your new work. So I hope you post it soon. Let's Skype and have a quick conversation one day, Ray. I really enjoy that. Okay, so we are pretty much, uh, it's 11.05, which is good. Uh, yes, Brad is clean, keeps his clean just as I, I taught him, which is really fantastic. And it's so important and has definitely definitely uh, served him well so that's really good <coughs> okay so we I am going to uh, leave you guys for one moment I'm gonna get us uh, some water because I've been talking and no water bad combination be right back guys no coffee today I gotta get up early tomorrow Okay, so this video has been brought to you by Pure Agua, Purify. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, they're not. They're not sponsors of this video in any way. Coffee and cake. I would love coffee and cake, but I gotta get up early tomorrow, so I gotta make sure that I'm uh, not looking like uh, like Keith Richards when I'm at the uh, farmers market. <laughs> Oh boy, that tastes good. Zero calories. Okay, decaf water. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to work on the eyes. And we'll start with uh, this eye right here. So I'm going to be using the 105 arrow that I modified with the 40, 41-044, the uh, little air regulator, the needle, and the cone. And you can see this really works. I, 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 correct. <laughs> and, uh, and then you can see that it really has the same detail that we enjoy with the Patriot, the Extreme Patriot Arrow, uh, before my modifications of that. So this gives you that feeling of the Extreme Patriot Arrow, I feel, uh, factory Extreme Patriot Arrow, not after my modifications of that airbrush. So when I work with an airbrush, I always try and say to myself, what can I do to fix it? One of the great things about Badger is that the airbrush parts are usually interchangeable. So you can modify the Extreme Patriot uh, Arrow, you can modify the Sotar, the 105, and use pieces. Uh, this is actually the uh, 105 Arrow, it's totally modified. Uh, so yeah, so we definitely gotta modify yours. Uh, now you have you don't have the straight 105. You have the you have an arrow, correct? No, you have the extreme 105, right? Is that correct, Wendy? If I'm not mistaken. So I have low pressure, and of course I have the Iwata uh, Mac valve here. That's actually the best Mac valve out there. You have the extreme Patriot 105. Yes, that already has a really nice. Uh, you don't have to do anything to that one, so that's good. Uh, there's one thing we might do. Well, we definitely get rid of that trigger. I told you that. You know, we don't like that crazy trigger that's on there. So I'm looking for this negative shape here, right there in that eye, which is very important. Well, if you got, to, yeah, we'll definitely do that together. So we'll do that this week when you're feeling better. We're gonna go ahead and we'll modify that together. Hacks, that's what it is. I'm a, like I said, I'm an ex-hacker. 
So if when I come into the airbrush world, it's all about making it better. I've always been like that since I was a kid. No matter what I was like, always had to fix it and make things better, you know? What? No way, are you serious, Tone? Tone, no, you can't be correct. That's unbelievable. The NBA suspended the whole season? Oh my God. Is, Tone, you think this is uh, really uh, serious as that? What do you think, Tone? That's unbelievable. I've never, I've never seen this in my life. And, you know, you know, it, I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little, if I wasn't very worried, you know? I worry for us, you know? I worry for everyone. Uh, yes, yeah, so why are they going on with the college uh, March Madness? I think they should cancel that too, because those kids, you know, they shouldn't be out there doing that either. So, I think the kids in the colleges shouldn't be doing that tournament. So, this is so scary. I'm really worried. You know, it's... Life is going to change for a while. Games with no fans, yeah. And I think they should cancel the games too, though, Tone. Wow, so when do you heard this evening that it's even more serious than they thought? Oh my God. Wendy says we're overdue for a really huge pandemic. And Wendy says it's always more serious uh, that they let on to not cause panic. Oh my God. Well, panic's already there. There's no doubt. There's already panic. So, you know, that's already happened. You know, here we are, you know, with this live stream. And, you know, right now the world is sort of just concentrating on art right now in our little worlds. And But it's really serious stuff happening. Like I said, the one gentleman who died uh, passed away the other day. The only person who passed away in New Jersey was in the same town as I. Uh, when he says insurance will pay to get you tested, no copay. When has that ever that happened? Yeah. So at the point, you know, it's really not, you know, I mean, when you're taking precautions, is there too much precautions? I don't think so, right? I just think it's, uh, it's that serious. Yeah. Tone says, good thing he's a homebody for the most part. Me too. I'm not a real going out person. Gloria says she was told uh, by a certain sauce to start buying canned goods. Oh my God. I'm sure the canned goods are probably already gone. I heard people saying that not too long ago, but yeah, it's uh, just last week I thought, uh, just last week I thought that, you know, that was, you know, over the top with the canned goods, but now I can see that it's not. Wow, Chinese board uh, built two hospitals from scratch inside two weeks. Yes, Wendy says toilet paper is gone. So what I'm doing now is just, you know, with the light mixture, I'm not trying to get the darks. I'm just getting relative value here. And that's what we're really working on, relative value. And um, I want to make sure that this, Never trust a projection, right? Never ever trust that projection. It's going to be fooling us, you know? 
And so we're just going to make her eyelid a little bit bigger than what I see in the projection. Yeah, it really could. And not for the better. Not for the better at all. So right here I can see the corner of her eye just jettisons out just a little bit there. Yeah, it's such a serious thing, guys. It really is. And it's happening like right during our live stream as far as the severity going up, you know? Uh, I've never seen it in my life. I've been on this earth for a while. I've never seen anything like this. And, um, just kind of definitely bums me out to say the least totally bums me out so you know as we're working we we want to continue with the pencil you know even though we've gone in with the white mixture and the light mixture uh, with this 105 arrow uh, which is modified by yours truly with the 41044 if you do have this airbrush, go ahead and do that mod. You're going to like it. It really gives it that Extreme Patriot uh, arrow detail. Wow. So unbelievable. So what I'm going to do, this is very soft edge. So I'm not looking for any kind of frisket or freehand shield here because it's very soft edge guys you know uh, Gloria says this will pass but we need to work together that's so true yes but remember Gloria when Sandy hit and people were fighting over chargers and uh, charging stations and everything I don't trust that you know the majority of the people will be nice you know Gloria and that's going to be the scary part I think we have to stay away from uh, large areas as much as possible, you know, populated areas as much as possible, I think, you know. Yes, people do get very weird when you take away their, you know, what they're used to, their comforts, and animal, the animal instincts come out, and that's, that's one thing that really bothers me and uh, really troubles me. And uh, I just hope that things will uh, be proved wrong. That's what I hope. Now here, even though I have a line here, I don't want to adhere to that line because this is a very rough kind of jagged line over here. It's not soft by any means. Uh, now Gloria says, uh, her kids suggested ordering through Amazon, so that's really good. Uh, toilet paper, yeah, I don't know what toilet paper, you know, what, why, you know, people gravitate towards toilet paper. It's going to be summer, we can go get some leaves out back, right? <laughs> hey, leaves have worked for a long time. Just make sure it's not poison ivy. Because that would really suck. <laughs> and just putting in her nostrils. And oh my god, poison ivy would be bad. Especially toilet paper, poison ivy equals not a good day <laughs> hey what's up there christian good to see you my friend how you been always good to see christian he's you know one of my students one of my gang so always good to see him thank you so much for hanging out and it's good to see you it's in the white house too <laughs> gloria says tim we have to join luna in the back <laughs> I think that is probably the best plan as things are progressing. That's for sure. I'll go, you know, 
go back to like Rambo in those days, you know, you know, survival instincts and go hunt us some of those deer that are around here. Like, I'm gonna go get dinner in the Hackensack River. No, that's that would be bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the coronavirus, oh my God. Oh, so Tone says that the coronavirus is in the White House. Oh, my God. Uh, so Brad says he has deer right out his back door. So he'd be able to get it real easy. We have to struggle. We have to go along the Hackensack River. There's some deer there. Not as plentiful since we are so close to the city, you know. Now, Bradley, he lives in a, in a rural area, right? You would say you're in a rural area. Is that true, Bradley? And let's see here. Now we're just gonna continue uh, with some of her features here. Um, okay, so let's look at the dark of her nostril here. We gotta make sure that we are not too mechanical with the laying in of these dark areas. Just like that. So Wendy says she should stay in New Mexico at one of her friend's cabins. That actually makes a lot of sense, you know. Uh, Tone says the Chinese have problems getting the numbers right too. And then Brad says just a couple of miles west of town, small town. So I have, oh great, so he has the best of both worlds, both rural and, uh, you know, population area, populated area, which is good. Yes, you know. It's very interesting times we live in and that's very very true right it's just very interesting times when things like happen like this what's normal is not normal you know as far as uh, you know what the rules were and who's what you know, when things break down, you know, things really just change. At least that's what I see. And so right now I'm just trying to model the form uh, of this, of her nostril there. Nothing too crazy. Just sort of sketching at this point as we normally do at this stage. And when we get rid of the pencil lines, we'll see things are gonna start shaping up. Now we always wanna go back to the pencil, right? Especially in this stage, we don't want to uh, get too, uh, you, know, we're, you know, you don't need to continue working with the airbrush if you are uh, everyone's better with the pencil. I don't care how good you are with the airbrush. Everyone is better with the pencil. So if you need to make some adjustments, it's really great to do that uh, with the pencil itself. So, And also we can just start erasing a little bit, getting rid of some of those pencil lines, superfluous pencil lines that we don't need anymore. You don't want to erase pencil lines before you utilize them, right? So you don't want to erase before you actually uh, uh, hit that value with the airbrush. You don't want to erase it before you use it. 
because that means you just erased the hard work you did in the drawing stage. Uh, putting that white house, uh, putting that white in sure makes a big difference. Yes, it really does, doesn't it, uh, Brad, right? Big difference, uh, definitely. And we're just gonna take our time to, remember we distance, right? See how if I want a little more uh, an exact uh, area of tone, I'm just gonna go closer. If I wanna get softer, I pull away. And that is definitely uh, really what really helps your control a lot more than, than most things is learning how to paint in three dimensions, you know? Three dimensions actually, you know, literally three dimensions, from here to here to here, over here, when to go back, all that's really going to help uh, getting control of what you want the airbrush to do. You wanna be thinking and the airbrush doing. Uh, that's, and that will come, you know, with practice. But definitely, I can't stress enough how important it is to there we go now we do have a dark area over here on the side and let's go ahead and establish that so you see I'm probably about four inches away from the surface The values are a lot darker. It goes right against this little light shape right there. So it looks like we're getting close, guys, 1127. You know, the part one is always interesting. You know, we are just, you know, I just really want to stress and always in part one that the drawing is so important and we must uh, make sure that we pay attention to the drawing and not take it too lightly. Draw lightly, but don't take the drawer, don't take the importance of the drawing lightly. And uh, so, as you can see, just you know what kind of soft edge we have here, and then bringing that down. Now, the mouth we're going to work on because it's uh, pretty much. You know, besides the eyes, is pretty much the focal point of the whole painting. I picked this uh, image because I just love her expression, and I really want to uh, really have that sort of where she's looking at you. She's really looking. Brad says it's looking great already. Thank you, my friend. I really appreciate that. I'm really encouraged by it. I really 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 appreciate that so we're all about making things look three-dimensional and how do we do that is by paying attention to the values and then after the values paying attention to the edges so those two things are really what we are really focused upon and right now in this early stage we are just uh, working hi Brad so uh, have a great night, my friend. Always fantastic uh, to see you and looking forward to your new project. Brad's working on a new project, so, uh, so we definitely want to see how that's coming. So definitely, definitely I am me. If you have any questions, Brad, always, you know. So and maybe we can Skype one day and just uh, chew the fat, so to speak, you know. Eleven twenty nine, guys. Thank you, Wendy. I appreciate it. Remember, guys, I give you two hours, not one hour and fifty nine minutes, not anything less. I want to give you guys the full value. Thank you for hanging out with me at my live stream, and thank you for the great conversation. I really, really appreciate you guys more than you know. Wendy, have a great night. 
And uh, and Todd, you have a great night. And and Tone, Stephen was here. We didn't have a lot of people today, but who was here was meant to. Gloria, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And uh, you know, let's if I miss somebody. Uh, really sorry. We had uh, uh, who else did we have? Let's see. So, so thank you guys for you know hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a good night. It's eleven thirty. My brain's not working. Everybody was here. Thank you so much. And stay healthy and stay safe, guys. Take care. <laughs>